Ori Ire Funo Wo Egbe. Good tidings to you. I pray that you are feeling awake, aware, and elevated in mind, body, and spirit, wherever you are, and whatever may be happening around you. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. I am Baba Uma Oluranshe MSA, voice of the MSA, member of the Isoro Traditional Council of Chiefs in Ileife, Nigeria, Oluwo of the House of Uma, and Babalao of Iliawo Orisha, the house of the mysteries of the Orishas. Opo Ire, abundant blessings to our Egbe, our online community of subscribers that continues to grow thanks to you. Thank you for joining me for another lesson. Remember, as a member of our YouTube Egbe, you can support each other's spiritual journey by posting your questions and uplifting comments in the comment section below. <clears throat> you can also email me using the link in the description section below if you need to contact me on a more personal matter, like if you're, you're seeking uh, divination services or other personal kinds of, of matters. Also, check the community section of this channel for periodic messages and additional EFA lessons. Each month, I post to the community section um, our uh, Ita Dogun, our monthly reading that we do for the entire Egg Bay. So that's valuable information, uh, giving you guidance for the period between each monthly uh, reading of the Ita Dogun. If you're new to these video lessons, we invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe and notification buttons and share this resource with your family, friends, associates. You never know whose life you can change by that simple act of sharing. Homage to the one who sends and to those who are sent. Homage to Orisha and Egun. Our topic for this video is the 16 truths of Ifa, truth five. You should grow and obtain wisdom during your life process. The 16 truths of, of Ifa are a tightly and finely woven fabric made of fine threads with each having a high tensile strength, meaning that they're resistant to breaking under tension. In other words, whether you're living your Ifa in Yoruba land, in the United States, in Brazil, in Cuba, in the Caribbean, in Europe, or any place else, these 16 truths can be applied in any cultural context. Together, these threads form a foundation upon which you and I humans can build our lives and enhance the lives of every other creature and living thing. As we progress through each of these 16 truths, you should try to understand how they relate to, reflect, and support each other. In other words, you should grow and obtain wisdom during your life process. Isn't the fact that you are presently sitting and watching this video part of your life process? Let's pull a few things together. In your last lesson, discussing the fourth truth in this series, I stated it is your birthright to be happy, successful, and fulfilled. It is also your choice to be happy, successful, and fulfilled. These experiences exist as potentials, as possibilities within the spiritual mathematics of the Loja. We've been given all the tools built into our Ojubo we need to be able to enjoy these 
potentials. They, however, are not guarantees. Like every birthright, they must be claimed through some process and ceremony. They are if-then axioms within the spiritual mathematics of the loja. The Ifa corpus tells us over and over that we are each empowered to choose our way of being and moving in the loja. With the guidance of your spiritual ori and the assistance of your egun, your orisha, and Ifa divination, you can unlock the awo, the mysteries of the loja, and experience happiness, success, and fulfillment. The loja that each of us lives is the loja that we fashion with our perceptions and interpretations of our experiences, our reactions, our responses to those experiences, and the stories we tell ourselves about the choices we have made. The story that Ifa tells is where you and I claim happiness, success, and fulfillment by the choices that we make in this experience. As you study and apply these lessons, you're growing and obtaining wisdom. Your perceptions and interpretations of your experiences your reactions or responses to those experiences, and the stories you tell yourself about the choices you have made all change. You change. The chemistry of your Ara Ojubo by your body temple changes. Your Ashe Ami, your unique energy signature changes, and you become a new and evolving being in the loja. So you're never going to be wasting your time when you come back to these lessons. The new lessons, be sure to follow, and the lessons that you've already gone over, come back to them and review them again, because every time you do, you're going to feel yourself seeing something that you didn't see before and changing in ways that you perhaps didn't change before. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. This fifth truth points to the process and ceremony each of us must go through to claim our birthright. The loja does not squander its abundance. It challenges the weak and the lazy. The loja supports life and growth. To claim your birthright, you must demonstrate that you also support life. That requires learning and striving to master the spiritual laws of the loja so that you can play your part in bringing about the good condition as described in the 78th Odu Irosui Wadi or Irosu Wadi. Truth 5 states that you should grow and obtain wisdom during your life process. Note that this truth describes life as a process. In our discussion on the second truth, there is no devil, it was stated, Olofi Dumare also set into motion the principle of Nawa, or Itelo, expansion, as a fundamental necessity if Olo Dumare's goal of experiencing the realm of infinite possibility is to be realized. Everything in creation is operating under this important principle, including humans. Remember, Olo Dumade is experiencing the realm of infinite possibility through you. Nawa, Itelo, 
expansion necessarily implies change. So Olofi Dumade also established the principle that any time you change a thing, you change more than what was intended. Think about that. Any time you change a thing, you change more than what was intended. So the process of making changes is a dynamic process and one that requires you know you to to be diligent in your thinking about the things that you are going to change. If you are to experience Nawa expansion, then the opportunities for you to make choices must be such that you are encouraged to learn and grow in that process. You must learn the consequences of doing this as opposed to that, and then grow, expand into the wiser choices and thereby evolve into a higher state of being. That's to say, your physical ori, which is emotionally attached to the loja, must transcend and enter a state of isopo, connectivity, with your spiritual ori. So, the principle of contrast, this versus that, is also an ever-present manifestation of the architecture of the loja. By experiencing what you don't want, the trials, the tribulations, the apparent failures that emerge from your choices, you are simultaneously realizing what it is that you do want. What you do want to call into existence in your life. Consider for a moment um, Sacred Odu Otorapon D talking about delight and displeasure traveling together. Aboru Aboye Orisha Tose Di Dun Lose Aidun Di Fafun Orun Mila Woniki She Bo Ayo Kosi She Bo Ibanuje Ogbebo Orubo Atawo Ati Segun E Yegba E Yatori E Bawale Ibanuje E Yegba E Yatori Ashe Ashe Asheo The Arisha which causes delight is also responsible for displeasure. This was the declaration of Ifa to Orunmila, who was advised to do offerings for happiness and also to do offerings against sadness. Orunmila did the offering. Both Awo and Herbalists, draw out your whips and switches. Help us to chase out sadness. Draw out your whips and switches. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. So this Odu is making it very clear. We have a twofold uh, purpose uh, in our journey in the Loja. One, we follow the, the, the path of Ifa. We make our uh, abodes. We make our prayers. We do our ceremonies. We you know, reflect on the 16 truths. We follow the uh, the course of Iwa Pele in terms of how we carry ourselves in the world. And in doing that, we are both attracting good into our lives, clearing the way for Ire to come into our lives. And at the same time, we're setting up barriers, blockages, um, conduits for EB, for negative energy to flow away from us. We don't really care where it goes as long as it's not coming towards us. Creation and the life that we share 
are full of mysteries and layers upon layers of spiritual wisdom and temporal knowledge that embrace and reinforce each other. You and I, we are not here to waste time in foolishness. That doesn't mean that we should not take time out to have fun. We should. But we should also keep uppermost in our minds that knowledge is power and is necessary to manage a world. And that is our charge. You and I, the Aeneon, the Chosen, our charge is to grow into a capacity to manage an entire world, this world. This fifth truth firmly establishes Nawa, a telo, expansion, as a fundamental element of the Ifa corpus. The true nature of Nawa, Itelo, is an expansion of your heart. For your heart must become big enough, compassionate enough, wise enough to care for an entire world. Say it. Eeniagbayeme. This is my world. So if you want to if you want to be successful in applying the principles of Ifa, if you want to be successful in achieving the things that you're striving for in life, those that striving cannot be solely for your benefit because you're not here solely for your benefit. You're here for the benefit of your ancestors, for the benefit of your descendants, and for the benefit of all of us who are in the world here right now with you. That is your birthright. That is your familial responsibility. That requires your growth into wisdom. Your Aura Ojubo functions in the biochemical and electromagnetic energy spectrums. Through your five senses, your Aura Ojubo receives energetic impressions from the Loja. By way of analogy, those impressions are input data. The brain function of Aura Ojubo takes those trillions of pieces of data and scans them for commonalities so that associative links can be formed. Linked data is then packaged in the brain's network of files and network of information. Those informational networks are then scanned for commonalities and those with associative links are packaged in folders as bodies of knowledge, however big or small. This vast body of knowledge, of data, information, and knowledge encompasses your navigational system for moving through the Loja. Obviously, the more you study Ifa, and especially the more you study the Ifa corpus, the sacred Odu, the more information, the more data, more information, more knowledge you gain in order to, na uh, to, to enhance your navigational system. When you choose to act upon a particular piece of information and knowledge, that expresses itself in your mind. Your decision is operating under the law of contrast. This or that, you choose. When the knowledge is tested in the loja, you can observe the results and decide whether that particular piece of information or knowledge should be retained as useful, instructive, and empowering, or whether that knowledge should be discarded as false, ineffective, and problematic. Of course, my hope, my prayer, 
is that this information that I'm sharing with you in these lessons, you will always find to be useful, instructive, and empowering. When the fifth truth states that you should obtain wisdom, it is stating that you should strive to elevate your beliefs to a level of knowledge. From belief to the higher level of knowledge so that you can take your earth walk with wisdom. This is the deeper significance of Sacred Odu Eji Ogbe, Ogbe Meiji, that we discussed in our last video lesson. Remember that this Odu also says, speaking of being thoughtful about our journey in the world, Abo Ru Abo Ye. Let us not engage the world hurriedly. Let us not grasp at the rope of wealth impatiently. Let us not rush to decide that which should be treated with mature judgment. Remember I said at the beginning of these lessons that Again, my prayer is that these lessons will provide you with the information that will make you wise when it comes to any decisions that you make about your process of evolution in Ifa. When you meet a Baba Lao, a person who says that they're a Baba Lao, and you're trying to decide whether you, know, you should um, allow that person to guide you further into your Ifa, right? The information that I'm sharing here with you is designed to make you wise enough to be able to evaluate whether someone or something that someone is saying or someone something that someone is guiding you to or directing you to makes sense. Is it credible? Can I rely on this? Can I trust this person to fulfill my need for growth and expansion? The Odu goes on. Let us not deal within a state of anger. When we arrive at a cool place, let us rest fully. Let us give continuous attention to the future and let us give deep consideration to the consequences of things. And this because of our eventual passing. Powerful guidance in Eji Ogbe about how to move through the current of Liloja. Be patient, be diligent, be thoughtful. Don't carry yourself in a state of anger, negative energy. Iwa Pele. Rise up in the morning and declare with conviction, everything I do and every decision I make is guided by my core value of always seeking higher knowledge so that I am better able to live my life and conduct my affairs with wisdom and to act effectively in the service of Olodumare's creation. You and I are here to explore and study the loja, to experiment and learn the lessons that arise from your choices and experiences, and thereby to grow and obtain wisdom. This is the process and ceremony of claiming your birthright. This is the path pointed out by the Ifa tradition of ancestor and Orisha worship. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. I pray that you are getting the fullest possible benefit from this lesson each time that you listen to it and review it and spend time reflecting on the content of it. Kiolo dumade orisha ati egun fifune ni itona imoye ati opo ire. 
May Olodumade Orisha and Egun bestow on you guidance, wisdom, and abundant blessings. Ifo Kanbele, peace of mind from Olodumade. Mogbagbo ni nutio, I believe in you. Alafia ati ife, peace and love. Ajo lo, ajo bo. We go out together, we return together. Ashe, ashe, asheo.